What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Monique Sierra. How y'all doing today? I am doing okay. And if you don't already know me, my name is Monique. I'm a military wife. He is stationed in Graf, Germany with an MOS of 12 Romeo, an interior electrician. And I will be leaving as soon as this pandemic is finished. As y'all already know, I decided to do a little thing on my channel where I do like military spouse advice, military advice period. And today I'm going to talk about the time difference, especially when your spouse is overseas. And talk about what you go through and what you should do, etc, uh, etc. Et but before we get into this video, please like, share, subscribe, and you won't regret it. Turn on the notification bell because I post up weekly and you do not want to miss it. Also, comment down below on some other things I can do and I'm going to definitely get into it for you. Now, let's get into this video. Before we get directly into this video, I want to talk about my face, y'all. Do y'all see this? It's breaking out. Like, look at that. I got a fat ass pimple right here. <laughs> oh my god. Um, and I think it's because of the mask. Uh, it's a few people that's been telling me that their face been breaking out as well. And everybody is blaming it on the mask. These masks, I don't know what's going on. This uh, little situation needs to finish because I'm tired of wearing that mask. A bitch can't breathe. But that's beside the point. Now, let's get into this video. Okay, so as y'all already know, of course, he's in Grafton with Germany. Um, and I am in Chicago which is Central Standard Time. It is a seven hour difference from here in Germany. Um, so basically, say I work second shift. I get off work at 11 p.m. When I'm getting off work, he's getting up to get ready for PT and to get ready for work. So it's kind of a little off. Prepare yourself for that, especially if they're going overseas, of course. Um, I know if your spouse gets sent to Korea or something like that, Korea is 14 hour difference. I was looking at that stuff when he first left. If you're not a night person like me, I love being up at night. Um, shoot, if I can tell y'all, it's like four o'clock in the morning right now and I'm up. But I think that the, the COVID made my sleeping schedule worse because um, on and off with working and I really don't be having nothing else to do but sleep. I do be up. Um, I'm not a morning person, of course. So, the only thing that I do say about that is when I wake up, he's getting sleepy sometimes and it can be frustrating because a lot of times you won't be able to talk to your spouse. Well, you can talk to him. Um, but it's more as like you're just gonna hear each other breathe type stuff because eh, depending on the job that that person has they could be tired you just gotta think about that that would be really depressing for me because I'll be waking up I, I don't wake up until like 1 in the afternoon literally every day so, since I wake up at 1, it'd be 8 p.m. out there. And, I mean, most of the time he do be up. But when it approach like 10 p.m. out there for him is when he's getting, like, tired and stuff. And it'd be frustrating because, you know, we can't touch each other physically. So, it's better if we're, like, you know, if we're talking to each other, you know, you feel some type of something. But... It'd be some days where you can't talk to them because of the time difference. Uh, a piece of advice that I would give is don't make it seem like it's their fault that the time is different. 
don't start like an argument because y'all haven't been talking or something like that. I'm giving y'all this because this has happened in my relationship. Do not say, you don't ever talk to me, blah, blah, blah. You have to realize that that person is tired. They're in the army, they're in the military. So they can be tired from working out. He, he's an electrician, but he's doing construction work right now. But just doing that type of stuff, doing heavy lifting, stuff like that, that makes you tired. So you have to, you know, compromise and be happy. Facts. The time difference is something else, y'all. <laughs> and also, um, this not really time difference um, information, but like me, I'm not a morning person, but I know when I do get out there, of course, I'm gonna be waking up early because he has to get, he has to go to PT at 6.20, I believe. So, I am going to be up. I have to get myself ready for those days because child, I hate waking up. I used to hate getting up to go to school because I did not want to wake up. Like, I'm like, is school even worth it anymore? And then when I went to college, I had a nine o'clock class and I used to stay being late to that class because <laughs> I just couldn't wake up. And then a lot of the times, I think I had a Saturday morning class, I believe. And you know, I like to have my fun. I like to get drunk. And I used to get up, still hungover all the time. So yeah, you have to watch out for that. But yeah, this was a little quick video because I really don't have much to talk about with the time difference. Just know, stay positive. Try to stay up if you want to talk to your man or woman. And just be patient like me because motherfucker, I'm still not there. And the 21st makes eight months since I haven't seen their new and I'm going crazy. Oh my God, like. I didn't change my whole appearance. Well, not my whole appearance, but I have not changed a lot about my appearance and everything within these past eight months. And I'm just ready for him to, to see him. To, to talk, I can't even talk. I'm just ready to see him. I'm ready for him to see me. Like, I've locked my hair up in the past eight months. I've started wearing makeup, even though I, I'm clear face today because these fucking like, most is not what's up. Um, a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm trying to lose weight, but you see, it's quarantine, got motherfuckers being fat, so that's kind of hard. But I'm working on it. <laughs> I literally sat online and looked like, what can I talk about for this military advice? Because I really don't know what else I could talk about that I haven't talked about in previous videos. Um, but if anybody want to know anything about the military, answer questions. I mean, answer questions. What the fuck? Why I can't talk right now? I think it's because it's 4.19 in the morning. I think that's why. But if you have any questions about the military, being a spouse, military in general, let me know because I can most definitely answer it for you in the next military advice video. I think I'm going to try to do these every other week. If I can, I don't know. Um, that's if I come up with more topics about it. Um, but other than the military advice, you're going to have more content. I'm waiting on a lovely wholesale package to come. I want to do a haul on that. I bought some more rainbow clothes, so I was going to do that haul together with that one. I'm still trying to do a collab with either my cousin or my best friend. I don't know who. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Don't know when, though. Um... Yeah, maybe I can try to stick my dad into a, a challenge or something. One of these videos, I, I don't know though. Maybe we could try a father daughter know me tag or some shit. I don't know what y'all think. Let me know. I'm talking too fast. I know.
this was just a little fucking video, okay? Um, I'm gonna start doing more challenges and shit for y'all. Don't just wait on it. Wait on it, okay? It's coming. Just keep subscribing. I appreciate every single subscriber that has came my way. I have 566 other people's motherfucking subscribers, so thank you so much. Still trying to get to a thousand though. And like I said, if I get to another thousand, I will be giving a young giveaway. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a gift card, if it's going to be money in general. It could be a gift. I don't know. It could be multiple folks. I'm, I'm going to come up with the, the giveaway. But anyway, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, please like, share, subscribe. You won't regret it. Turn on the notification bell because I post stuff weekly and y'all cannot miss it. Of course, y'all can't miss me. You can't. Why would you miss me? Why? Comment down below on other things I can do because like I said, I don't be having no ideas. Child. Child. Child, I need ideas. I need them. I need them to bring them to me. I need them. I need them. And then, so further ado, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I just be rolling, cause it be toting. Driving my car like it's stolen. All of my weed it be potent. Have you floating? Catch a bit sucking and choking. All of this weed I be talking, you know I be smoking. All of my diamonds be frozen. I start working through the night. Got your girl and she won't pipe. But she gotta stay one night. Fuck it, she's on light. Put the lean, no ice. Fuck it, fuck it, no wife. Only fear God that's right. And I might take your life. Make a nigga see the light. Make a nigga have no life. Stay real sharp like a knife. I always take a big pipe. I only sleepless nights.